Hey everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. For those of you who are targeted, I'm sure you know what that means. For those of you who are not, it means that uh, I have been selected for whatever reason to be used in non-consensual human experimentation into mind control, coercive technology, uh, nanotechnology, um, that's pretty much it, MK Ultra style, hardcore, top secret counterintelligence programs involving, you know, aerosolized, weaponized drugs, uh, chemtrails, misting, uh, nanotechnology that goes into your body and creates the necessary devices self-replicating nanotechnology um, that allow <clears throat> the mind control system to work. The atmosphere has become more electric, electrically conductive due to the chemtrail spraying. Uh, we see HARP and SCAT uh, ionospheric heaters, Gwen towers, microwaves everywhere. We are basically surrounded by a worldwide grid of <laughs> electromagnetic frequency transmog transponders and they have basically in my personal opinion uh, based on what little evidence I've seen they they being I don't know who the global conspiratists have sprayed the entire global population for years with this chemtrails formulation that seems to do a lot of things a makes it possible to control the weather <coughs> B makes it uh, the atmosphere more ionically charged makes it more electrically conductive and also seems to uh, infect people with more Gellin's disease, which they get sores all over their bodies and um, fibers coming out of them, bugs coming out of them. And upon closer inspection with electron microp microp microscopy, excuse me, that's a hard word to say, and uh, near field, dark field microps microscopes and uh, atomic force microscopes people are finding some very interesting uh, crystals with piezoelectric properties and uh, tiny um, self-replicating self-assembling nanotubules with gold payloads and other uh, very interesting nano devices that are now inside our bodies supposedly the chemtrails contain um, human red blood cells that have been somehow uh, stored or desiccated or sprayed along with uh, high levels of barium, titanium and um, other metals which I can't remember at the moment um, and God knows what else uh, we were basically exposed to this fine white mist being pumped into our room for months maybe even years it took a while to notice it it would sting your skin and it would uh, coincide with these outbreaks of, of infestations of insects that we'd never seen before um, things shooting out at the tops of our heads that were literally they would shoot every f three to seven minutes they would go up about one and a half to three feet they would enlarge as they were in the air and as they came down they would hit the ground and they would change color to match their surroundings so that they were almost difficult to find um, I know as incredible as it sounds, <laughs> um, it's true because it happened to both my girlfriend and myself. We have some witnesses and I don't know if we have any collected samples yet left, if they were stolen or what, but um, we were thinking about this and it would require some type of intelligence, this little thing shooting out of your head in order to, you know, some sort of optical sensor in order to check the area around it for coloration, light, and, and dark radiations, uh, and then some sort of internal mechanism, some sort of in, in, encephalopodic, uh, you know, color changing like an octopus or a squid. Anyway, um, we had all kinds of crazy creatures coming out of us and, and you know, inside of us and... and just like in the movies, weird government people in trench coats following us around and, and mind control hooked into this mind control grid. Like I said, uh, 
you know, I, I, I'm here to, uh, <laughs> just tell you my experience and my testimony, you know, um, clearly, you know, you could take this as a joke, <laughs> you could take this as just some crazy thing that somebody made up, it's probably better that way for all of us, however, Facts don't lie. Um, originally, when I made this video, my intention was to uh, shave, actually, and talk about shaving and how the beard helps to foster the look of schizophrenic, homeless, crazy guy. Um, and how when I shave the beard off, I look just like a basic uh, tortured abused human being who's been put through the ringer. Uh, the ringer, for those of you who are too young to know, uh, my grandmother had a ringer, and when you would do the wash pretty much by hand back then, the ringer was the invention. You would take the wet clothes and you would put them through this chute and you would turn this big crank and these two big wheels would smush down on the clothes and it would turn and it would ring out the water and you'd get these really flat, rather dry, wrung out clothes. Uh, it was fairly effective actually before motorized dryers and washing machines, spin cycles and spin dry. But um, yes, put through the ringer. Um, the truth of this matter is that this program is uh, a highly sophisticated, uh, super funded black op with this global in scale. Um, they seem to have the ability to manage, marshal almost any resources. Um, they seem to be able to walk into like any store and go behind the counter and pretend they work there or flash badges or whatever at anybody and get them to do pretty much whatever they want. I've seen them coming and going into buildings like they had the key and coming out two doors down, you know, a block away. So you have to wonder. Um, immense resources, highly secretive, um, the operations, the people that they hire to do the actual on-the-street gang stalking and, and some of the other things, assassinations and break-ins and what have you not, uh, I imagine is probably operated in the same way that a terrorist cell is operated, <laughs> with as much plausible deniability as possible. Um, when I've looked closely at this operation, what I've seen of it in my life over the years, um, it's changing. Uh, it changes based on the individual, but it also seems to have a theme, a uh, basic set of components that they they go through. Um, and uh, one of the main thrusts of this program is to. Uh, isolate the victim um, by sh doing incredible things in front of them that they will then tell other people about and the, and the other people will say, well, you're crazy. I don't want to know about this crazy stuff. It's, it's very interesting the way people react when you start to tell them about the really, really insane things that happen, like your bed was moving and shaking and going, whoa, 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 and the walls in the room were being moved. And... Uh, you know, objects disappear from in the blink of an eye, and you know, very paranormal, um, but quite technologically possible. And anyway, you know, uh, drugging you uh, covertly with hallucinogens and hypnotics and psychotics and God knows what else to make you you know, afraid and, and everything is big and happening and, and you get paranoid and they're doing all these things and you're thinking and your mind is going. Then there's the mind control and the electromagnetic stimulation of your brain and the talking into your head. Uh, the truth of the matter is that the brain code has been broken by strong artificial intelligence and quantum computing. In other words, with over 50 years of research globally, they have broken the code to the brain. And what that means is they know that the data going in and out